Marco Silva's Everton evolution gathering pace ahead of Liverpool showdown. Everton's last visit to Anfield in the Premier League back in December 2017 was certainly a memorable one. A 77th minute Wayne Rooney penalty earned Everton a 1 1 draw and the decision of Craig Pawson to award it, had Jurgen Klopp spitting feathers post match with the Liverpool boss engaging in a memorably frosty exchange with a Sky Sports reporter live on TV. Mohamed Salah's wonderful individual goal which saw him twist poor old Cuco Martina inside out and back again, meanwhile, ended up winning the Puskas award many months later, a decision that sparked a debate on how individual awards should be voted on. Behind all the controversy and subsequent fallout from a fiery Merseyside derby played out in snowy conditions, was the inescapable fact that despite the result, Liverpool were far superior to their rivals in every department. Not that Everton's boss on the day Sam Lordice seemed to mind much. Liverpool pummeled Everton from start to finish, attempting 23 shots on goal to Everton's 3, having 12 corners to 1 and enjoying 79% of possession by the end of the game. Everton's 21% possession that day remains the club's lowest rate since Opta records began in 2003-04. It was a dogged, backs to the wall, defensive display that ultimately paid off courtesy of a contentious penalty decision. I am sure the fans would have liked to see us play better, but I am sure they will be more pleased with a point than playing well and losing 3 of 4 nil, Allardyce stated confidently afterwards. Allardyce's assumption proved wide of the mark as supporters became increasingly disenchanted with his style of play as the season progressed. So too, it appeared. Did Everton's owner Farhad Mashiri who clearly felt that his £160 million investment on players warranted more attractive football than that which Allardyce was serving up? Three days after the final game of the 2017-18 season, Allardyce was sacked with Marco Silva, Everton's original top target after Ronald Koeman's dismissal, replacing him. While there remains a gulf between Liverpool and Everton this season with an 11-point gap currently separating the two, Silva's side are undeniably making progress, winning four and earning a credible draw away to Chelsea in their previous six Premier League games to move up into sixth in the table ahead of Sunday's Merseyside Derby. Not only has Silva enjoyed better results, averaging 1.69 points per game compared to Lerdice's 1.41 per game. He's also achieved them with a more far more attractive style of play. Everton's goals per game rate has increased from 1.2 to 1.5, they are averaging 423.9 passes compared to 388.1 and perhaps most revealingly, they have gone from having the second lowest number of shots per game last season to the sixth highest this, 9.4 to 13.5. Manchester United suffer Alexis Sanchez injury blow ahead of Arsenal and Liverpool clashes Maurizio Sarri bursts Callum Hudson Odoi's bubble moments after first Chelsea goal Arsenal legend urges Unai Emery to sign fantastic man United star Silva has added much needed freshness to the club. This season, Everton play with far more verve and attacking intent than at any point during Lerdice's six-month tenure. The introduction of Lucas Din and the diminutive Brazilian winger Bernard, has injected the left flank with pace, dynamism and mobility while also ensuring that Jilfi Sigurdsson can remain in a central position, rather than tucked in from the wing. Sigurdsson has already surpassed last season's goal tally of 4 with 6 in the current campaign and is one assist short having supplied 2 so far, despite playing 1,167 fewer minutes. Then there's Richard Lisson, who has picked up from where he left off under Silva at Watford to become Everton's principal attacking threat. Regarded exclusively as a winger during his year-long stint at Vicarage Road, Richard Lisson has been shifted centrally to help compensate for a lack of goals from more natural strikers Sentasson and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Now a fully-fledged Brazil international, Richard Lisson has managed six league goals so far half of which have come since his positional switch in October. Silva has also taken steps to reinvigorate the side with youth. Allardyce's two signings in January were 26-year-old Sentasson and 28-year-old Theo Walcott. In contrast, Silva's six summer signings were all 25 and under when they arrived at Goodison Park, 
with joint leading scorer Richard Lisson, the youngest of the lot at 21. The average age of Silva's most picked team this season is 26.09 with Seamus Coleman, who turned 30 last month, the only 30-something in the side. Despite their improvement under Silva, though, the odds are stacked against Everton coming away from Anfield with a victory this weekend. Liverpool's last Premier League defeat to their rivals was in September 1999, 18 games ago, while they are unbeaten in their last 17 against them home and away in all competitions. Not only that, there is now a resoluteness to Liverpool's defence that was lacking in the first half of last season. A 3-0 win over Watford on Saturday means that Liverpool have conceded only five goals from their 13 league games, their lowest ever total at this stage of the season. Nevertheless, unlike on their previous league visit to Anfield just shy of a year ago, Everton won't just sit back and soak up Liverpool pressure. There will be times when they will invariably have to defend, but they will look to attack too, just as they did against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge a few weeks ago. Regardless of what happens on Sunday, Everton fans can at least expect to see their team enjoy more than 21%, a sign that things are moving in the right direction under their new boss. Virgil van Dijk tells Liverpool teammates to copy PSG's dirty tricks Jurgen Klopp could face Champions League ban after Liverpool's defeat to PSG James Milner slams and PSG's play-acting in one perfect tweet.